all right guys so today we're going to be reacting to another video of those americans that leave the country and they want to leave in germany right or europe why i will never move back to the united states after living in germany healthcare education all of the above 50 minutes uh, in i have my personal opinion a lot of these things i wish them well right so let's see what's going on here let's jump in well he guessed it cats this video isn't like videos i usually do it's kind of it's not as fun of a topic but i feel like at the moment it's definitely something we have to talk about for the last years there's nothing that i read on the news that i was happy with that was something that made me truly proud of being u.s american other than kamala harris being the first woman to become <sighs> okay all right this already started left bro wow Okay. vice president okay. and also being um for all reasons and south i think southeast asian but other than that generally it's been pretty dark mm -hmm. and really? the latest of course being the over rule like the new ruling on roe versus wade and the hard part is to know that we now have to fear um, a lot of other rights being revoked, like same-sex marriage and um, the right to contra contraception, contraception and stuff what? like that. <clears throat> She's talking about, about and it's just abortion. One of many reasonings for, or just one of many reasons why I don't feel like I ever want to return to the U.S. At least not as something permanent. I'm just going to explain the way I feel about this topic. Um, to me, pregnancy has to be a choice. It is something. I just have my baby here with me. He's trying to use, watch the videos and react to me, with me, so. That your body goes through and until the baby is capable of living its own life outside of your body. Well, he can. It can, the baby can. This is not, this is not a topic. My little baby cannot live without our attention, so he cannot live alone, right? I understand where she's coming from with a lot of these topics, but uh, I just, well, I'm just going to keep it like that, folks. But there has to be a better reason. I understand why some of the reasons some of the Americans will move to Germany. I understand. But she has to come with a better understanding of why moving to Germany, right? Better than just saying, abortion health care there has to be a bigger reason because remember you moving to germany not to just move there you you have to incorporate yourself to their lifestyle and this is what a lot of these videos i noticed they don't talk about the german germans lifestyle and culture they don't talk about that how important it's just to follow their own culture see this is so important it is part of you but beneath you as a being because it can't live without you and if you don't want oh, beneath, that okay. to that in that moment parasite to be within you parasite. no one else should be allowed to force you and there is no what? country that i know of parasite. in the first world that allows it's for germany germany uh, germans do you guys call babies parasites or uh, when the baby's inside you guys call it parasite I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Other things as well, such as having to donate organs, having to donate blood. Neither of those things are something you can be forced to do in the United States either. Even though you could technically, I think when I had my blood drawn, they told me you could technically have this done, at least in Germany, every 68 or 69 days. And it would still be healthy. You wouldn't be hurt in any way. So you could do this multiple times a year without carrying any harm or any repercussions from it. You could give your organs away after death instead of having them cremated with you or instead of having them rot away 
with you in your grave. And it would do nothing to hurt you in any sense, but you would save lives in both cases. But we don't force people to do that. But some way, somehow, we feel like it's okay to force women to be pregnant, even though that actually is a very high risk. And actually, it's not. Actually, it's, uh, actually, it's not. With the modern technology, it's almost less than zero point, uh, zero point, uh, zero point percent of death. It's very low, so it's not high risk. But a quick recap for everyone who doesn't know me, which is probably everyone. Um, so far, I've only said that my name is Kachana. I'm allergic to cats, and I'm a U.S. American citizen. But US I moved American to Germany citizen. with my parents in early 2002. US and I've lived in Munich, Germany, Germany since. So I basically grew up in Germany. Um, so on my like, like genetically, I'm Haitian American, but culturally, I'm German. So that's kind of the, I guess, foundation that you should know. Um, but I still feel American to a certain degree, even though so many things that I grew up with aren't something that Americans know. Like I had a completely different educational system, um, healthcare system, social system, and so on and so forth. So that makes me less American. <laughs> it sounds sad because having those things is not American. What? I don't, I, I I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm not understanding here, folks. I mean, it's not to be harsh on her, but I'm not understanding that makes you less American. What makes you less American? I just don't... Having less... Living less in America, I guess. I think uh, she's young. You know, I, I would say, like, we all go through this, right? We all go through all this weird kind of... Try to find ourselves kind of thing. So yeah, she might be going through something like that. I would go back someday. And um, when I was still in school, I thought maybe I could do, like, a semester in... The United States and blah blah but I never did that and then I also didn't go to college there because I decided I didn't want to pay that much money and in Germany school is basically for free there's like per semester you might have to pay like depending on the school 100 or 150 euros which is not that much for half a year of school so I decided to stay here instead um, I did I go, go for to it. private school, but that's a different matter. Ooh, and different matter. I just thought, you know what? Someday, someday I'll go back to the States and I'll have all of these experiences and whatnot. But over the past few years, I was like, I can't go to this state. I definitely want, don't want to go to that state. And ooh, okay, no, that state is absolutely a no-go. <laughs> and now that I I've seen this it. new new map of the United States with all the trigger, like with all the states that have trigger laws for um, abortion bans. I feel like I don't want to go to any of those states either. And that's like half of the freaking country. And there's so much more that goes into that. It's just being a non-liberal state in general, even though the majority why of not, the Why not going to California or New York? Why not there? Why not going to Massachusetts? Why not going to Connecticut? Why not going to all these places that abortions are per, are legal? Ah, I know why. They're trash. That's why. They're trash, right? That's what it is. Okay, I'm going to just, I'm going to give my opinion. You don't want to go to the state because they're trash. That's why. And the state that they have abortion illegal, they're more calm. They're more safe. You don't want to go to those because of that. Those are the ones that you want to go, but abortion. You see what I'm saying? Folks, like, um, I don't know, like, I hope that the only reasons you want to stay in Germany is not materialistic. If I was moving to Germany, it would be for you different reason. I'll look for main ways to just incorporate myself into the German way of thinking, the the German culture, philosophy. 
in integrate myself in that culture instead of talking about these material stuff. You see what I'm saying? Well, the, all this is all this is material. Nothing with substance. Population doesn't think that way, and that and is. I, I'm sorry, but that, a lot of Americans they that's the main reason they move to Germany, and I don't think that's a that's a valid reason. That sounds more like you being kind of materialistic. Like you have to have a better reason than just sucking everything from the system. You have to provide. You have to. You have to give back. You have to give back something, man. You have to. Your reason should be more than just taking advantage of the education, the healthcare, and this and that. You sounding like a parasite. I'm just saying. I'm so just saying. About the system we have in place in the United States, because it just says that. If you're a politician or someone in power at in the right place, your voice has more power than that of hundreds of others combined. And that's just not a democracy. We're not a and democracy. That's the problem. That's See, you're not understanding. You're not understanding. The United States is not a democracy. We do in democracy democratic activities and exercises. However, we're not... Dem we're not a demo dem we're not a democracy. The United States is not a democracy. It will never will. We have demo democratic um, events, or we're not. We are a republic. Probably just the, like overarching. And I think Germany is a republic as well. Let me know in the comment section. Even though it feels sad to say, I don't want to live in the U.S. That's fine. I think so, that's fine. It definitely not permanently. Maybe for a job for half a year, for a year, that sounds like fun. Um, I'm a sport journalist, so working at the LA Olympics in 28 sounds great. But other than that, I'm like, mm -mm. I'd rather stay here in Germany where I have health care, where I have proper education for everyone, mm -hmm. um, a much better just democratic state in general. It's just so sad to see that whenever I say to someone who I meet that I'm from the US, they're like, oh, okay, interesting. It used to be like, oh, cool. And now it's like, oh, wow. How did you manage to get out of there? Like that's like kind of the vibe I'm getting. So I'm like, yeah, I know, because I feel the same way. It's so sad, but it's just... So, so you feel like people just brush you off, right? Because you're for certain countries, right? For You're from the United States, so they brush you off. Well, that's, that's everywhere, man. That's everywhere. I mean, well, you cannot help it. Not everybody's going to love the United States. Not everybody's going to love Germany. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's just the reality. If you there want people to like you, you're in the wrong nothing spot. Nothing that pulls me to the U.S. Of course, there are amazing universities in the States that no one can afford, but um, a lot of great doctors go from those schools and great mathematicians and scientists and other people who will go out into the world and do amazing things, but they're the top half percent of the country. And you can't just... So for those Germans, right, that are in my YouTube channel, I understand that your education is free, but what is the acceptance rate? Is a 100%? Do you guys accept everybody? Something tells me that's not the case. Something... That means that... Everybody will be accepted in those high universities? I don't think so. So this is the misconception that a lot of Americans have. Did you guys know some information? Put them in the comment section below and I'll read it. Let's talk about those and say we're the best because they're the best on like worldwide because you also have to include the other 99.5% into your calculation. And if you do that, then you're actually not number one at anything. I feel like I just have to get it off my chest and like explain how many Americans probably even in the States feel 
because it's not that we all don't care. It's truly not. I think most of us care more than we can express, but there is little you can do, um, especially if you're out of state like me. I remember, I actually wanted to end this video a couple minutes ago, but anyway, I'm gonna go on. If I can think of something to say, then I'm gonna say it. Um, I remember back in 2016 when I wanted to vote, my, <clears throat> my ballot came two weeks late. I got my ballot after the election. You can't tell me that a democratic country does that. And I gave them all my information on time. I called and called and called so freaking often. Our phone bill was insane. But I called them over and over. My home state is Florida, by the way. And uh, I knew it. I called. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. She's a liberal, and Florida has become a red state. So that makes sense. If you feel a little bit... Uh, Hesitation. That's what it is, folks. We all go through that process. I would suggest her that, you know, it seems like what she's looking for, she will not find it in the United States. It will be better she stay in Germany. However, however, from a person that really respects culture and morale and values, it's not, I don't think it's okay for Americans to go to these countries thinking of, only because they have these resources. Let's just stay there. That's, a, that's, that's such a wrong approach in this. I do believe that you should have the duty to move to a new country and just do your homework or do, do de diligence to make sure you can incorporate yourself to that culture. Incorporate yourself to that culture. Have the lifestyle of that culture. Understand their beginning to the present. And you notice none of these videos talk about that. Huh. It's all about so weak. what can I get? Told it's on its way. Mm -mm. It's on its way. It's going to get there sometime. And I'm like, well, but I need to actually have the stamp on my ballot to send it back before the end of the election. And that just never happened. And when I called them afterwards to ask how the heck this is something that happens, they're like, oopsie. Well, guess we just voted red then. No, did I tell you? Done. Did I tell you, folks? Okay. Did I tell you? Did I tell you, folks? Yeah, I've been doing this for a long time, so you, you gotta smell things. Sorry, my coach just called. Um, so basically, I was denied voting in 2016 in a democratic country. Let that sink in. I'm not gonna say anything because that <sighs> what she's saying what she's saying is so wrong right now. I'm not gonna say anything because it's, it's just I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna leave it like that. There's nothing more I can add to that because I can't articulate the anger I felt of being denied voting for no reason. For absolutely no reason. Um I know for my family that in Germany, you don't have to do anything to actually be able to vote. Once you're 18, you will get something sent to your house, a piece of paper that says when you're supposed to be where, you go there, you cross um, whoever you want, um, and then you leave. And usually it's like at schools or other public facilities close yeah, by. Like the United States. So there is Everywhere, no one who has to drive four hours on end and stand in line for hours on end to vote. Usually it takes like maybe 10 minutes. And I've heard people complain when they have to wait for more than 15 minutes to vote because that's like atrocious. You actually already had to walk 10 minutes to get to the school because they couldn't find anything closer. It's so far away. And then I had to wait in line for 10 minutes. Absolutely insane. In the US you see footage of people waiting in line to vote for like 10 hours. Good lord. So 
a lot of people. From all the things I just said, there are obviously other reasons why Germany is a great country to live in, especially compared to the U.S. Um, for example, food. In Germany, probably half of what is in U.S. supermarkets wouldn't be able to be sold as food because it's so chemically altered it has so much sugar in it it's just like incredibly unhealthy at times obviously not everything but there's so much that can't be sold in germany because it's not qualified to be food which is crazy to me um and there are also a lot of products that whenever they are also sold in germany have to be changed in a way to have them be allowed to be sold Less Modified. sugar, less chemicals, blah, blah, blah. Um, that's one point. Another one is obviously the social system that Germany has. A lot of people here complain about it as well, but the majority is in agreement with the social system that we have. Um, I don't, I, I, if I was German, I would not like just foreigners just coming in and just keep abusing the system. That's what it sounds like. I'm just keeping it real, folks. I'm being honest. If I see American just coming to Germany, I'm staying in Germany because I can just take them out of the system. I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with that, right? That's they, Again, there has to be a bigger reason why you want to move to Germany than, than just using the resources. They've, they worked so hard to build that system, right? And there's the system itself is built because there's other things that come before that. To just make it that it's just not doesn't happen like that and i it, it, in a lot of these videos it's just like i, I just because they have free health care you have this, this one, that's fine and that's amazing but you have to have a bigger reason why germany uh, is the place to live are you by being part of the culture are you are you putting back into the culture things like that are you promoting german culture are you do you are you living german culture value morals you know what I'm saying? Like, like a lot of these videos, it's just the same thing. Like, 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 and I feel a shame because it just show the raw mentality of some Americans of just eating, 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 consuming, consuming, consuming. It's all about material stuff. See, there will always be people who take advantage of any kind of help, but yeah, in Germany, ah. there is a safety net for everyone. And that is really important because so many things can happen to you in life. You could be disabled. You could disabled, yeah. lose your job. There's whatever there is. There is always some sort of system that will catch you if you fall. It's not perfect. No social system on earth is probably perfect. But it's definitely something that I appreciate so much that it's really hard to think of going elsewhere. Thank you for listening to me just... Yeah, saying what you had to say. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think it's fair. However, my advice is you have to bet, you have, I'm telling you like this, you have to have a better reason the healthcare and the education should be something like post, post, or result of why you're staying in Germany, right? Just moving there because they have a better education, healthcare is not a reason for me to convince me why you're staying there, unless you're a greedy person. I'm just saying, honest folks, I cannot tell you. Reacting to these videos really made me appreciate a lot of things that Germany uh, is or or have contributed to than just free education and free healthcare. And it might be because I'm a very cultural driven person, but free healthcare and free education would not be a reason why I will move to Germany. It would not be a reason. I will enjoy those benefits, sure, no problem, but it would not be a reason. I'm not a dis dishonest person. That, that is, but it has to be. It has to be something that it can, where I can enjoy and become part of and contribute to 
to show some respect, of course, to the country itself. As, we'll, as, as, as good as a country Germany is, right, we have to show some respect, man. But some of these folks, they're just, they just they had their mind in the wrong place. Like, just health care, free this, free that, free that. It's like, no, man, you, there's something better than just free this, free that, that make Germany what it is. I don't know, folks. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I might be wrong. If you disagree with me, put it in the comment section. If you agree with me, put it in the comment section as well. Meantime, guys, I'll see you in the next one.